with a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 2 Firestorm. This is the alias crystal room. Mark, look at that! Wow, well, as that goes, that crystal's pretty gargantuan. I could open up a crystal shop off selling that. What on earth is it? God blimey, look at the size of it. I never knew you got jewels that big. And it's pink. It's bleeding beautiful. <sighs> Don't touch the crystal. Sue, what's wrong? Hey, what was that, that big jewel? They were calling me. Is this what you meant when you mentioned the source of Alias's power, Coach Lena? Yes, this crystal powers the entire base. It's the source of all Alias's power. It crashed to Earth here five years ago. It was named the Alias Crystal. The Alias Crystal? Didn't the aliens who appeared at Ryman mention something about a crystal? So this is what gives Alias Powers their power. That glow. It looks just like the pendant that they tried to make that young boy who was kidnapped by Redox wear in this very awkward to say sentence. <laughs> the alias players use the energy from the crystal to charge themselves up. Charge themselves up? I heard Epsilon mention something like that. You see, Mark, it all comes together. They ran out of charge. So if we can stop the flow of energy from the crystal... That's right. You should be able to weaken Genesis. There must be some kind of control unit somewhere that mm -hmm. manages the distribution of the crystal's energy. Or we could just smash it up to pieces. D destroy it? I can't believe a policeman is telling us to smash up people's private property. Well, I never did like to play by the book. Wait! The security system is back online! How could it be? Back online? What do you mean? Get ready for the most forced boss battle in the series history. What does that sound like to you? Oh no, it's some robots and it's not just three or four of them. Why, if I've counted correctly, there may be a perfect 11 of these robots. And yes, it's for real. Robots aren't fictional, Tori. Robots are my life. Subjects unknown. Initiating football attack sequence. Blimey, they're security robots. Football attack sequence? That doesn't sound cliche. Yeah. You've figured it out by now, right? We have to play. <laughs> In order to get to the crystal, we have to play football with some bleeding robots. <laughs> we even give you a warning, I can actually talk to them. Eliminate, eliminate. No thanks. Beep, beep. <laughs> I love the dejected robots that are really sad. That's the only item in the room. Let's talk to the main one that's a different colour to show it's a captain. Yes, we'll let you eliminate us already. This is a real match that we're forced to do. We've got to have Jude, Sean and Darren in the starting lineup. Can I put Darren in goal yet? No. Oh, but if I move Mark up to sweeper position, you know, as it was announced several episodes that he was going to be, I guess Boot Guy to can have this match off. Yeah, of course, I think I've got Mark in the wrong position for a sweeper, actually. He's supposed to be quite a forward defender, but never mind, too late now. I never thought we'd be playing football against robots. Target acquired. Name, Jack Wallside. Special moves, the wall. Inazuma drop. Interests, food. <laughs> Just, I know, having a match against robots with no personality is completely cliche. 
But... Oh yeah, but right, we're talking about having Mark as a sweeper. Good job I put him there then. And, uh, the, wow, the, the girls made these for us in case this happened. No way, new kits for both of us. Oh yeah, there's a thumbnail already. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mark is a sweeper. It does feel odd. Yeah. Don't worry, Mark. I won't let you down. Listen, Mark. There's a special move I kept aside for you when you became a sweet. Oh, so I gave him Circus Block for nothing, then. It's an improv... Oh, oh no, never mind. That's not a blocking move at all. Death Zone 2, he wants Mark to be part of a new shooting move. So it's about time, but Jude finally got a new special move. With the match with the single most conversation on the pre-match screen was against the robot guards. <laughs> I was trying to say, let's move... Oh, Mark automatically moved up there. How did that happen? Uh, we'll put him there, I guess, because that makes sense story-wise. But yeah, we were saying that robot guards are such a cliché, but they really called out Jack on being a cliché of his own. Now, would you believe these guys have slightly different bios each? They all say largely the same thing. <laughs> I just read the word eliminate 22 times. But I guess not only is this the debut of Mark as a sweeper and Darren as a keeper, but this is also the 11 -a side debut of Sean Frost now that he's come together as a person and he's going to score. Let's go with Eternal Blizzard, that's the one with the type advantage. What they were saying in the conversation that I mostly skipped before was that these robots have been programmed to understand Ryman's every move and that anything we try on these guys they should have already logged in their memories pretty much. Oh, we're getting a corner, all right, let's, um, we've got to try and get this in with Jude, he's the one with Death Zone 2, I think it may even be required to shoot with Jude, and they've just kind of left him open. Here goes, the three of us need to work together perfectly here. If Death Zone was the embodiment of Royal Academy's conformity and discipline, Death Zone 2 will show the power of Ryman's strong individual personalities coming together. If Death Zone was an addition, Death Zone 2 is a multiplication. I mean, I guess he times the number 1 by 2. Gets an energy boost when he hasn't even used any special moves. What they were saying is that these robots have been programmed to understand our every move, and while Caleb Stonewall getting involved with this, a Royal Academy Redux player shooting, and Janus from Alias. Pretty cool looking move, but yeah, the idea is that in order to defeat these robots, you need to hit them with an unclassified move. I think that even though we were able to barge past the robots with without even using a special move with Sean, that, that they, they just have to look past that part. The goalkeeper will automatically save anything that's not Death Zone 2. So it's a good idea to get that out of the way with very quickly. And then once you have scored with Death Zone 2, you disable the security system or whatever it said, and then you can score with anything. These guys are still using special moves that were first used by brainwashing back in the first, the second tournament match of Inazuma 1. That's a new move at least, Invisible Fake. But speaking of fake, fake ball. Oh, sorry, I left you with a melon. I learned a personality since I joined this team. Anyway, so this is Shark's first time actually shooting for Ryman. Can he get it in? Rocket Kabushi isn't the best move. Shine Drive's pretty alright. Go on, mate! Get it in there! Can he? Um, maybe. We'll see. Oh, yes! Shark's got a goal! 
He's not that far behind the rest of my team in levels now, so hopefully he'll see a bit more use. Same with Kadem's Sound Town, but even though he's not as behind in levels anymore, he's still only got one move, I believe, which would just be Flame Dance, a defensive move for the midfielder. Yeah, Sean, you can use Land of Ice and Eternal Blizzard now. Let that be made perfectly clear. But I will demonstrate it now. Yes, but what, what was I going for? So now that we're playing against this full match against the robot guards, I'll take a small moment of time to explain how this match works in the anime. Ahem. <clears throat> it doesn't. <laughs> Basically, um, the robot guards do appear pretty much as soon as Ryman appear at Alias HQ. Axel just kind of hits them with a football. Like, not, not in a football, I'm going to defend the goal style. More the robots were physically kicking a barrage of footballs towards Ryman. And then Axel just took one shot and knocked them all down like dominoes. And then it was over in a matter of seconds. But what takes a minute in the anime is going to pretty much take a full episode in this Let's Play. Because I've just got to play against robots. The arena's floor is kind of like the Battle Box. It's kind of Robot Warsy or Battle Boxy. The only difference being, well, you know... I'm playing as the humans. I'm the villains. These robots, the data they've been given, it's all about how we've played in the past. The past? My old self. There's something I've got to remember. Something about how I used to play. Give over, Sean. You know what it is. It's that move. Uh, Aiden? What do you mean, that move? Wait, I remember. Yeah, we did it, Sean, we did it. Aye, we did too. A special move that combines the best of both of us. Let's call it Legendary Wolf. Aye, that were it. Legendary Wolf. Now that me and Aiden are one, I can do it. Those robots won't know what hit them. I see, I don't think we really needed to be able to score with other moves like Shine Drive and Eternal Blizzard because we have to score with Death Zone 2 and we have to score with Legendary Wolf. You know, that gets two goals for us. If you lose any more goals than that, you know, you kind of deserve to lose the match, let's be honest. If you let the robot goals, the robot guards score twice. That's a, a move which was not normally in Mark's move set, but I decided to give it to him anyway. Um, I'm going to fire up to try and get past these guys because I don't have any dribbly moves left. Come on. Nah. This is perimeter zone, the move I gave to Jude, actually. It just blows up Sean without a care in the world, and this is going to be a foul because I... In this entire playthrough of Inazuma 11 2 Firestorm, have not once used Killer Slide and had it not been a foul. It is genuinely a pointless move to use. It's so weak, it's barely even stronger than a sliding tackle, and it ends up being a foul almost all the time. No, but that wasn't meant to be! Oh, that was my chance! Oh, well, to be fair, they've left themselves wide open. Let's go for it again. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? I can't believe it, Sean! Am I going to fail to use the legendary wolf just because you're kicking people in the shins all the time? I know you've become one with Aiden. I think you've become a little too one with Aiden. You've gained his violence. Right. I'm not the same Sean I was before. I'll show this lot I can pull me weight. Here it comes. Me and Aiden's special move. Legendary Wolf. Naturally, in the anime, this move has to make its debut in the Genesis match instead. But here we get an opportunity. 
I don't know why I even bothered making sounds over it. The game makes its own. Legendary Wolf is even stronger than Eternal Blizzard and it is a mega move so it can level up up to five times. But yeah, so Legendary Wolf in the anime, you see that in the Genesis match. As for Death Zone 2, yeah, you don't see that at all. <laughs> I think I saw a wolf appear behind you. <sighs> I did it. That were Legendary Wolf. Me and Aiden came up with it when we were kids. I can guess how it worked as a co-op move. Aiden did all the shooting. Sean just pretended to be a wolf and roared. <laughs> Legendary Wolf and Inazuma, Inazuma 2, eh? <laughs> yes, that's the game we're playing. Anyway, there's just one quarter of a match now. I don't know if t Sean has got his TP back now. He did get a TP boost in order to use Legendary Wolf. I want to see if I can S-rank these guys 5-0 without it even being an extra competition route match. Just for my own good, let's go for a fifth goal. You can... What? Caleb, did you... Are you meaning to tell me? Because I used Killer Slide once, I did not have enough... Yeah, there's... There we go, triple boost. So I just hit the S button so early it automatically passed the ball to another player. Anyway, he'd need to be able to punch this away to stop this going in. Caleb gets his first goal in a major match, if you can call this a major match, you know. <laughs> so that's pretty good, we've got the first major goals for Stonewall, Shark and Sean Aiden post-merger to use a business and acquisition term to describe the elimination of Sean's split personality. Yeah, I think they overhyped over these robot guards a bit, acting like our players would be able to do nothing against them unless it was something brand new that their data systems haven't seen before. But we're kind of just giving them a shanking. <laughs> We're going for a sixth goal now. I mean, the robot guards deserve this, let's be honest. We didn't need this match in the game, so we don't need to go for a story-ish even, even scoreline. Let's just beat them 6-0, and then we can return to what actually matters, the alias crystal and trying to disable Alias's powers. I wonder if these guys are under influence of the Alias Crystal, seeing as, you know, it's right behind us. <laughs> don't even need this move, because we're out of time. I just wanted to try and level it up. There we go. Full time. Six now. <laughs> Suck on that, you robot! Fatal error program terminated engaging system shot. No. Hey, look, we did it! The robots have stopped moving! They've been immobilized! We've pushed them into the pit of oblivion! Stop and deactivate robots! Cease! How many more Robot Wars jokes can I shove into a victory screen? Intruders escaping, healing, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they blew up. We owned them that badly they blew up. But we've got a bad feeling. Uh oh. They've locked the door. So, well, I guess we better use the influence of the alias crystal now, seeing as there's nothing else we can do for entertainment in this room. At least we've got a football pitch, to be fair. That's all these guys would ever need. Yeah, we, anyway, we can't get phone contact with Coach Lena. This ain't good. The signal must have been cut when the doors closed. What do you mean? Have you never had a phone before, mate? We could be trapped in here forever. Then there's only one thing for it. What's that? We have to trust Coach Lena and wait. I thought you were going to say Fire Tornado, but... Trust you in wait? That's your genius plan, is it, Captain? 
Yeah, I agree. Let's start shoving flaming footballs towards the door. That's my idea, anyway. There's not much else we can do, I guess. I hope she really is on our side. Yeah, right. I bet she's the one who trapped us in here. Coach Lena, I'm counting on you. I wish the robot guards were still working, then I'd have someone to play football against. But you haven't even entered the facility? I hope Mark and the team are okay. Just before we were cut off, they said something about the doors being locked. Somebody must have trapped them in there. Oh no, I hope Mark is okay. Oh, you know this place well enough to have trapped them yourself. If this turns out to be your doing, I'll... I'll... Calm down, Seymour. Pointing the finger won't solve anything. We need to help the team. But we can't take the girls with us. It's alright. I'll go and unlock the door. Alone. I'm familiar with the facility. I should be able to avoid any danger. Are you out of your mind? I'm going with you. But you're old and slow. You'll get in my way. I just can't sit and do nothing when Mark and the team are in danger. And we also need to keep an eye on you, Coach Lena. Does this mean we can go with you as well? Hey, What are you talking about? I'm a policeman. You're just a schoolgirl. Are you really planning on leaving three defenceless girls alone in a place like this? I have to take my hat off to you three. Looks like we're having an adventure again, just like before Zeus Jr. I and also your fancy Mark. D Detective Smith? I wonder if it was Sylvia that would say that line in Blizzard. <laughs> of course, we can't let you go off into danger on your own, Coach Lena. Okay, let's go then, before it's too late. All right. Hang in there, Mark. We're coming. Oh no, not more robots. Let's just show how easy it was to defeat them without playing football against them. You just pushed them over. And that's good enough. I just need to connect these wires and... Well, I was hoping that Celia, Sylvia and Nelly were going to get to finally take control and do something important, but this basically was Lena's doing, but the door is very hot. It must have been wired so the whole thing heats up if you try to force it open. Coach Lena, let go! You'll burn yourself! I, I can't just leave them. I have to protect the team. Coach Lena, you... The door! She opened it! My team! Coach Lena! You're safe. Thank goodness. What happened to your hands, coach? The bright red. She forced the doors open with her bare hands. They were scorching hot. She did? I'm sorry I doubted you, coach. You really hurt yourself trying to save us. <laughs> Give me your hands, coach Lena. We need to put something on those burns. Never mind that. We need to find the control unit for the alias crystal. We need to stop that energy supply immediately. Evans, I'm counting on you. Understood, coach. Right. Whoa, coach Lena. Well, at least we didn't get to see those burns. In the next episode, we're going to disable the alias crystal. See you then.